Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville covering everything Admirals, Predators, and Florida Everblades related. I'm Daniel Gummo, this is Chris, Yo, and up, we are brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Don't mind that, that's just Phil. Yeah, we have a cat in the room. He's stuck, we're not letting him out. <laughs> all right, uh, you can get all your referee gear, you can get all your hockey gear, you can get your skate sharpened if you like skating for fun. Um, yeah, you can get all your goalie gear. Uh, yeah, uh, spend money. They like it. Uh, if you want to go there, get a hold of them, man. Uh, 414-800-7585. Or stop in store and visit them, man. Uh, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's right across the street from Wilson Park, Kitty Corner, from Clark Gas Station. You can't miss it. And you can also visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. You can also get NHL jerseys as well. You can get Milwaukee Admiral jerseys like the one I'm currently wearing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So tonight was a pretty good. Vi tonight was a good hard-fought victory. Uh, the Bellevue Senators are literally one of the top two teams in the Eastern Conference. So this had like a playoff game vibe to it because it's like two of the best teams in the entire league. But Milwaukee gets a 2-1 victory. Uh, what, were, what was your opinion of the game? I thought it was a hard-fought game, but the referees made a lot of dumb decisions. Um, I saw a spot where uh, Anthony Richard got elbowed in the head, and then he got pushed into the boards, and then they cross-checked him, and then they held him against the boards so he yeah. couldn't move, and then, there was a lot of and dirty then plays that player did. left and went and tripped Freddie Gaudreau into the boards. And then he tripped him on the way to the bench. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Whoever the referees number, didn't do their job at all. The minute I find out who number 14's name <clears throat> is, I'm going to be calling you out on this show. Oh, the referee or the player? Player. Oh. For 14 for them. So, that would be Philip Choplick. That ought to be easy for you to remember. <laughs> Yeah, but this was potentially a Calder <coughs> Cup Finals matchup because, like I said, Bellevue, they're not a slouch team. I mean, if you look up their record, they're one of the top teams in the East. And we're literally the, still the best team in the league. I hope and that doesn't also, backfire on us. We also regain our 11-point lead on the Iowa Wild. Uh, yeah, I just hope uh, we don't end up with the AHL equivalent of the President's Trophy because I want another trophy and uh, the best uh, regular season record ain't it. I'll take whatever trophy they're willing to give us. Give them us all. Give it to us. Give them all. Come here. Uh, fill the trophy case. Honestly, why don't we focus on dropping to like the third seed so that way we get hungry at the end of the year instead of becoming complacent and getting lazy? Uh, we want home ice during the playoffs. Yeah, I know, but I don't want us to get lazy at the end of the season, you know? I want us to stay hungry so that way when it comes playoff time, oh, we don't get lazy. Oh, come on now. You know these guys are hungry. Mm -hmm. All right, let's read off this uh, stat stuff, eh? All right, in the first period, uh, Milwaukee outshot them 11-6. to six, And then uh, uh, Belleville uh, outshot Milwaukee 9-8 in the second. And then in the third, Milwaukee outshot him 10-6 for a total of uh, Milwaukee 29 shots, Belleville 21. Uh, Belleville was 0 for 3 on the power play. Milwaukee was 1 for 2, which is a good step up. Uh, Milwaukee had three penalties called on him for a total of six minutes, and Belleville had two penalties for a total of four minutes. All right, go. All right, scoring in the first period was uh, Michael McCarron. Woohoo! Uh, that's his seventh with an assist from Anthony Richard, his fifth, and Yakov Trennan, his 13th. Gotta hand it to Trennan. Keeps getting him assists. Um, and then, no scoring in the second. Then in the third, uh, Rudolph Balser scored his ninth with an assist from Drake Matherson, his 30th, and Logan Brown, his 18th. And um, Rob Pitlick, on the power play, oh, whoops, Yakov Trenton on the power play, <laughs> got a goal with an assist from Brem Pitlick, uh, Trenton's 15th goal, uh, Pitlick's 13th assist, uh, three stars of the game were, because I'm not going to have to do goalies here, well, third star of the game was Connor Ingram with 20 saves on uh, 21 shots, uh, second star of the game was Joey Decord, uh, 27 saves on 29 shots, and first star was Yakov Trenton with a goal and an assist. 
head coach for big the oops I almost called them the Binghamton Devils. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so used to them being the Binghamton Senators. I'm sorry. Yeah, but the Belleville Senators. The Belleville Senators. Uh, head coach is Troy Mann. Um, assistant coach David Bell. Uh, assistant coach Colin Culp. Uh, attendance tonight was not that great, but it was loud. So, 2,719 people. Our referees were Mason Riley and Jeremy Tuft. Uh, linesmen were Ben O'Quinn and Jonathan DeChamp. Um, currently, the Admirals... They're 4-1 and one against... Uh, oh, they're 2-0 uh, against Belleville. Yep, 2-0. They won... Four to two on November sixteenth, and now they won two to one tonight. Um, the Admirals are still four and one in their last five. Daniel Carr still leads the team in, with thirty two points. Cole Schneider with thirty, and Jakob Turner with twenty eight. Um, thanks for your two cents. All right, so on to our next game. Mm -hmm. I got it. Okay. What? All right. The next game on the schedule for the Admirals is this Friday. They play the Rockford Ice Hogs at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time here in uh, Milwaukee at the UW Milwaukee Panther Arena. Uh, tickets are not available or they're very, very limited. Yep. You can come see Skillet, the post game show. All right, uh, Milwaukee's 4-1 against Rockford this season. The last time these two teams met was back on January 14th. Milwaukee won 4-1. Um, tomorrow, Rockford plays Texas. Yes. So, uh, yeah, just throwing that out there. So, hopefully, uh, yeah. This season, the Admirals are 4-0-1 against the uh, Rockford Ice Hogs. Well, that's why I just said 4-1 because... We only lost him one time. And all my time, so we still got a point. Yeah. It was a half loss. <laughs> all right. Um, well, Tyler Sakura, like usual, is still leading the team. Uh, 42 games played, 11 goals, 13 assists. Uh, Brandon Hagel, uh, 39 games played, 13 goals, 8 assists. Then we have uh, Jacob Nielsen, 42 games played, 6 goals, 12 assists. Dylan Sakura, uh, 24 games played, 9 goals, 8 assists, and then, uh, what is that, Mackenzie Entwistle, uh, 36 games Endless played, goal. 7 goals, 10 assists. All right, that's the top five guys for Rockford. Oh, that's going to hit you, Go. Go. Um, well, Daniel oh. lets the feline out. Uh, I'm going to look and see if there's anybody having a hot streak while he reads the goalie. Well, currently... Um, their goaltenders are as follows. Um, Colin Delia, uh, wait, no, Kevin Lakin had started in 18 games. He has a 3.09 goals against average with 7 losses, 9 wins. Colin Delia, he has played 17 games with 8 wins, 8 losses. And Matt Tompkins with 5 wins, 3 losses, um, with a 2.62 goals against average. Um, out of the Three of them, Delia has a better save percentage. Um, Tompkins has better uh, goals against average and win-loss record. Um, but Tompkins has only also played in eight games. So, there's that. <sighs> also, Rockford, Rockford, where are you? Whoa, they're like 20th place in the league. All right, in the last 10, Rockford is 4-6. Uh, four and six. Um, in the last ten, the Admirals are eight and two. And currently riding. Oh. That's not. Oh, never mind. Whoops. Let me get back to that. Um, Dylan Sakura in his last five games, he has one goal and three assists. All right, so in the Admirals' last ten, they are six, three, and one. And Rockford's last ten, they are three, six, and one. So flip the win-loss, and that's what you get. 
Um, we also play Rockford on back-to-back -back nights, so you are not going to be hearing a preview from us. Just watch our next video. Uh, uh, and uh, Mackenzie Entwistle, he has two goals in his last five. I'm sorry to cut you off. I'm just breeding, giving him a heads up of who's playing how well. Uh, also, tomorrow around the Central, uh, Iowa plays Grand Rapids. Apparently, San Antonio lost to Wilkes-Barre. Uh, Rockford plays Texas. Uh, Anton Whedon, he has two goals, two assists in his last five. His last game, which was uh, on the December 3rd. Or, no, never mind. I can't be right. Yeah, never mind. He hasn't played in a while. He got called up. Yeah, never mind, never mind. False alarm. False alarm. I can take a look and see who's there and who's not. Yeah, I wish there was a way I could just find out. Like, uh, uh, I don't want to look at hockey sticks. You're trying. CCM's trying to make me buy gear because we talked about them. Yeah, right. They could sense it. Uh, work. Oh, but that's all I got right there. I mean, we're we've been beating them, so I'm just gonna be overly confident and say, yeah, we should beat them again. I mean, we did win the. We are on a three game winning streak against them because we beat them the last three times. Milwaukee also has one of the best uh, home records in the league. We should probably talk about that. The send down from Nashville. Oh, yeah. Nashville. Colton Sissons was sent to Milwaukee from Nashville. It's a conditioning uh, thing, so he might be down here for a game or two. Hopefully, we'll see Three him. Three game week. maximum. That's well, hopefully all he's we'll allowed. see him this weekend against Rockford. He was not playing today, which is to be expected, but I'm guessing we'll see him Friday or Saturday. I heard he wants to play Friday, so... He wants to smack around the Ice Hogs. I don't blame him. It's fun beating that team. Alright, so according to this... Uh, where is he? Anyways, we will be in Rockford on Saturday. I'm not yeah. sure if you mentioned it. Yep, we will be there on, in Rockford on Saturday. So expect a late video. Yeah. Just saying. It probably won't get uploaded until Sunday, so bear with us, people. It'll be around. That's okay. This one probably won't get uploaded till tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, um. Yeah, it's kind of late as we record. Yep. So, I'm going to let you guys uh, enjoy that. Don't forget to check out our friends over there at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and also go subscribe over to YouTube, YouTube, subscribe, click that bell, get notified every time we upload a video. You got it. Tell your friends. Let's try to grow our YouTube numbers just like we I want to thank all the people who got us to 900, by the way. You people are wonderful. You guys are working so hard. We're almost to 1,000 in the follow department and almost to 900 in the like department. You guys are just blowing it up. We're becoming bigger than we ever thought we were ever going to be. And we're going to keep it going. And we're going to, we're we ain't stopping until the wheels fall off. And even then it might are be you, Are you trying to sound like a rapper the way you just said that? What, we ain't stopping until the wheels fall? Yeah. Like, that's a.